Hi everyone, today I would be giving you some information on the match and merge process in master data management. So in my previous video, I would have given you some information of master data management and why it's supposed to be managed, what are the uses of managing master data, man uh, master data. So um, here is a little bit of information on the match and merge process, which is part of the master data processing process. So. Um, to get into the video, here is an example that I have put down. So you have two sources. So if you look here, I have the e-commerce website, which is one of my data sources. And I also have a physical store that also captures data. So imagine you're a customer, you keep purchasing products from e-commerce websites or you go directly to the physical store and you purchase products. So it's not, not every uh, source collects the exact information. Some sources might, you know, collect certain amount of information and might miss out other information that's actually not necessary or mandatory or not needed. So the entire aim of this is, as I said in the master data management video, though I get data coming from different sources, so let's say from the e-commerce website and from my physical store, I have data coming in. And with this data, I need to understand which are the records that actually are the same records or if they are going to be different records, even if they are the same records, then which information should I believe from which source should I actually, you know, which source should I trust? And once I get that information, only then I'll be able to consolidate, I'll be able to, you know, wrangle my data, I'll be able to actually validate my data and bring forth a golden record, which is nothing but your master record. So this is the entire, you know, uh, recap of what we try to do with master data. So here, let's get into the example of the match and merge process. So the entire aim of the match and merge processes is to match the same records that might be, you know, duplicate records for a same customer or for a same entity. Once it's matched, if you find out whether it's the exact match, then you would want to merge the record because of course, any organization or anyone does not want to have duplicate and ambiguous data. So obviously, once you find out that these two matches are the same, then you would want to consolidate them and bring them to a golden record. So that's the entire aim of this match and merge process. So to get into the example, I'm having two sources. Let's say I'm having two data sources that I'm getting customer information from my e-commerce website. And also I get customer information from a physical store. So now if you see the information that I got from my e-commerce website is I have the customer's name, the mobile number, the address and the country. The similar information I would also get from my physical store. I wish to get, okay? It's not always that I will get that information, but that's the information I wish to get or I propose and that's the information what the customer fills and sends back to me. So here, if you look at the e-commerce website, now we have all purchased from e-commerce website. At that time, definitely your address is very important because you want a delivery. So you can never, you know, uh, miss out on this particular field. So you can always be sure that from your e-commerce websites, the address of a customer is definitely going to exist and it's definitely going to be the, you know, the right address for the customer. So, of course, customers would not give some dummy data for an address. So you can always be very uh, sure that the customer's address is going to be valid and it's going to be the exact customer's address coming, which is from the e-commerce website. On the contrary, when you have a physical store and you have the data coming in. So here also I have the customer's name, the ID, the mobile number and the address here. But always when you go to a physical store, it's not always mandatory that you have to give in your address. So the address that I give in, sometimes I can expect data not for addresses to be blank or the address when I'm in a hurry, I might not give you the full address. I would just mention a very half, um, you know, a half baked address. I might give you some dummy address because that's actually not needed. It doesn't have to be right. Okay. When you look at the customer's perspective. So the data coming in, and if you really want to, you know, trust the data for this address column, I'm giving you an example. 
So when you want to trust the address column coming in from the sources, definitely you would trust the address coming in from the e-commerce website data source. So this is the two sources here. And then I've given you the background of how you actually need to, how people would actually prioritize the sources that they need to trust for a particular record. So now once you have your data coming in, okay, so now you look at the customers. So the first one is I have customer ID, let's say this is 100, and then I have the customer name Jake, I have the mobile number, the address, and the country. The second customer coming in is I have the retail store customer, and then I have the, uh, the phone number and the address. Now coming into the physical store, I have another customer named Jake, and then I have uh, the retail store again, and I have some extra customers who never purchased online, but they came to the physical store. So here I have Mark, which is totally a customer from coming into the physical store and not from the e-commerce website. So when you look at these sources over here, okay, the, so, the data from these two sources, I'm giving you an example. So for this example, I'm taking the retail store customer. So now you have seen the customer's names, okay? It's a retail store and it's here you have a retail store. So here, if you see, the customer's name is same. But how do I understand whether they are different customers or they are the same customers, okay? Because all customers' names, they are not unique. We all know that. Though the name may be the same, still they, they may be two different persons. So here to understand and to distinguish if they are going to be the same customer or different customers, I need to set up a match column, okay? A match column that needs to be matched and if both the records match, then I take it to be as the same record. So here, if you look at this, always when you want to set match columns, they need to be something, some columns that actually identify that particular entity uniquely. So for this example over here, when we look at this, every customer's mobile number is going to be unique. No two people can have the same mobile number. So since they are going to be unique, I can definitely validate customers coming in, though they have different names, still when I look at their mobile numbers, if they are going to be different, then definitely they are going to be two different entities. They are going to be two different customers. So I can be able, I will be able to, you know, distinguish these records based on some unique IDs. And in this case, you can set up your unique match column to be the mobile number. So when you look at this, the match table is going to be the e-commerce website and the match column is going to be the mobile number. It's going to be matched, okay? And if you want to set a particular field, then I would say take the address field and give priority for the e-commerce website, which means that the address field, if, it's, if I need to, you know, fill up my address field, then the first priority has to be given from the e-commerce website and then the physical store. But let's look at this little later. So this is first the matching process. So I've given my match table and my match column, which means that I'm going to match all these records, which is in the e-commerce website data source with the records in my physical store records and the match column that is to see whether they are going to be exact matches or they are going to be two different people is through this mobile number column. So now when I start matching records, okay, when I start looking up, I find out that there I have two customers with the name retail store and retail store from these two data sources. So possibly they could be, okay, they could be the same customer or they can be different customers. I still don't know that. So, but still the system when it's matching, it will take these two records. But after that, it's going to validate the two mobile numbers for both the records. If they are going to be the same, then it's going to be the same entity. If they are going to be different, then it's going to be a different entity. But taking this use case from the data coming in from the physical store and the data coming in from the e-commerce website, I find out that both the mobile numbers are going to be the same, which means that I can be sure that this is going to be the same customer. Okay, so since they are going to be the same, I can assume that they are going to be the same customer. So this becomes a match record because both match and they can be 
a possible match that is they can be the same entity but the system does not directly match it okay it does not match it it can be two types systems generally they are set one is to do a fuzzy match or you can look out for exact match so when you set your system okay to be to look for fuzzy matches it means that if the, there's a slight trace of any matching records over here it it, it gives the record as it, it selects those two records and it says that this is a possible match but if you set your system to be an exact match then it will look for the exact match of both the columns so if it was supposed to be a fuzzy match then even if i didn't have one digit in the number and if all the other digits matched then it will get a match record and always match records can be more than one okay so uh, if it's going to be an exact match then only when all these digits of the mobile number match it will give me a match record so now through this process i have got a match record so from here i need to first understand and decide whether it has to be merged or not now this merging process also can be of two types you can set up systems to have an auto merge or you can set up your system to go in for consensus so if you don't know what is consensus it's nothing but a decision process where the SMEs okay or the exact you know um, domain experts they would sit down and unless they approve that okay this is a duplicate record then they'll say okay you can merge it until then this record this match record will still maintain be maintained in the system but if you're setting your system to auto merge then since it find it found out that these two are going to be the same customer it will automatically merge your record okay and that's what we get over here so the final master record that you get is called as your master record or it's called as your golden record so if you look here i get my customer id the customer name the mobile number over here and now look at this so here comes the part where if there's going to be any missing data here comes the part where you look into the sources and you need to understand what data can i pull from what source and fill up the missing data so when you look at this example over here i have address which was mentioned from the source e-commerce website and there's no address mentioned in my physical store so when i look at this process i can be very sure that addresses would definitely be you know collected from the e-commerce website so at that time this is what i said so for the field address if you want to set your priority from where you need to get your data you would set the source of trust for this particular field as your e-commerce website because you can trust that you would definitely get data for this particular field only when there's no data that's in worst case scenarios look into the physical store and take that record so if there's when we no data then the system would just leave that uh, column or that cell as blank but this is how you prioritize your sources for certain set of information it's simple take another example let's say i want to find out some uh, medical records medical records might exist in the hospitals it might exist in a pharmacy but when i need to trust okay that this data is coming in from a reliable source when you look at the pharmacy and the hospital definitely you would be giving the hospital a higher priority you would be trusting records from the hospital more than a pharmacy so that's how you prioritize your sources and you place your you know source of truth or trust in that you give it a more priority to that particular source so since here i have set that i need to i i'm giving a priority to my e-commerce website for the address field so at that time whatever address was mentioned for the particular customer in the e-commerce website is automatically pulled into the master record so when during the merging process instead of keeping the address field as blank the system is automatically pulled the address from the e-commerce website and is almost given me an entire golden record of this particular entity which is my customer 
so this is a little bit of information of course initially it would be a little confusing but i have actually broken it down to the very basic level of explanation because when i actually explored this um kind of uh, process i was also confused but when you take an example and you work it out like this you would definitely understand the match and merge process that works in the master data um, management process so why is this match and merge very important if you look at this if i didn't have this match and merge records over here my system would definitely you know take every record to be unique records it would take everything and if i'm you know doing some reporting or if i have to do some decision making if i need to find sales for a particular country let's say here for this example i'm finding sales by country so over here i would have two records for australia and three records for uk so it would give me definitely wrong data because definitely there's no three records for uk it's just two records again because there's going to be duplicate records over here and both are the same customers similarly if i'm going to look over here in this example if they find if the business you know stakeholders ask me how many customers do we have just looking at this information i would say we have five customers but indirectly when you look at this example over here i have only two customers over here because jake and jake are one customer retail store and retail store are one customer and mark is the third customer so actually i have three customers in hand but because of this lack of match and merge process i am giving this wrong data but if you have this match and merge process your decision making your data accuracy becomes much more consistent and it's more reliable also when you make decisions so even you know when making decisions it's not just reporting because there are many other sources also that rely on this data okay so if you take for example if this particular data the sales team uses this data the sales team if i give them give them this data without matching and merging they would keep sending sales promotions and sales information and discounts etc to the same customer twice and even if they are going to you know go in for leads or they have to you know retain that customer it's going to be duplicate information duplicate uh, you know um, records maintained and definitely it's going to again create some um the data accuracy would be low because let's say this retail customer has purchased for let's say um 30 dollars okay and the same customer has purchased your also so i have the data of 30 dollars so when the stakeholders ask the sales team how much of sales do we have they would calculate 30 plus 30 pick when the real situation is it's just instead of 60 it's 30 so these are all so much of confusions that is you know caused because of this particular um, duplicate records that occur so i hope now you understand how important this match and merge process is in mdm systems and i hope this was little informative to you and clear to you so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to your channel and do share your feedbacks thank you